guys welcome to the Wix club in this tutorial I will show you how you can filter Wix repeater with item from another repeater okay, so in this as you can see in this example we have the first repeater over here and then we also have a second repeater which displays the item or which is gonna act as the filtered repeater okay so this is the filter repeater the one we're gonna use to filter this one Whenever I click on the images on any of these uh, repeated items, it's going to uh, automatically find the result and display on the second repeater. So for example, if I click on this dress, you're going to find out that it's been displayed with the full information of the dress. So we have the title, the price and the category which it belongs to. And when you, we click on this beautiful shoe, you can see that it also displays the information of the shoe. Okay, and so on. Alright, so before we jump into the editor, I would like you to subscribe to my channel. I'm always bringing up amazing content like this for you and I don't want you to miss an opportunity for that. And also give this video a thumbs up as you watch. Alright, so let's head over to the editor. First of all, as you can see, we have the first uh, repeater which is connected to the data set by the side. So this is our repeater. Too. so when i turn on my dev mode the dev mode allows me to find the ids of my elements and also make use of the wix code pl a platform or console okay so right here we have the data set 2 and we have the repeater 2 all right so i connected the image inside this repeater to the um, image field in my database so as you can see it's connected to the shop data set 2 which is right here and it's connected to the source in my database which is the image source in my database okay so for the main uh, repeater that displays the content i've connected to the data set one okay and i've also connected that the the uh, elements within them which such as the text uh, the title and the price and the category and the button as well okay so these two data sets are connected to the same database okay so they're connected to the same database which is called the shop database and also this is also connected to the shop database so i'm only just using them to do the same operation but in different manner so in my code section guys when you turn on your dev mode you can make use of your code section so as you can see the code is a very short and simple one so right first of all i'm using the import wix data because i'm using data for my data database and then I have the ready function and I have my data set one already function. So my data set one is the data set of the repeater that displays my filtered contents. Okay, so data set one should be on the already function. Okay, then next I have the repeater two on item ready. So why am I using the repeater two? The repeater two is this one because it is the one that the action is being performed the action such as when you click on it then something has to happen okay so inside my already function you can see that i have the single item and i have the item data so the single item means that i'm trying to work with one with each of the images in my repeater now if you notice something guys i told you i have an image here and the image id is image one the next one also the id is the same okay and that's the same for the rest of the images in my repeater okay so what i want to do is that since they have the same id and i want them to perform individual or independent operation then what i have to do is to use the single item okay and then the item data is what actually gets the data of the specific item so for example this is an item this is an item this is an item also so it gets the item the full information of this one from our database such as every field it has in the database like the title the price and so on okay so the item data that i'm trying to get from my database is the title of that particular item okay so as you can see i have only used the item data two times in my code and it is right here where i have actually placed it in the, in the parameter part and then also in the code okay then next i created an array now this empty array will be filled up with the item data so i will show you that later on um so again i mentioned the single item because i'm trying to use uh, an operation for each of the images 
one at a time okay so if i use the usual segwit w and then the id of the image then it's going to operate only once okay so if i use the segwit item it's going to operate individually all right so i added an onclick event for each of the images in each of the my repeated items and then what next i did was to push in the title into the array that i've created okay and then next i added the console.log and then my array so this array each time i perform this click action we're going to find the title that has just been inserted into the array and then finally to the most important part which is the filter section whenever we click on the image and the title of the item is being pushed into the array then the data set will filter depend depending on what title is inside the array and then um as you can see this is my data set one the data set one is the data set from this one okay so this is where the filtered items will be displayed okay so that is why i have used this data set to actually uh, perform the filter okay and then next we have the wix data dot filter dot has all and then the field key and then the value that that will be filtered so this um this one whatever is in my array will be found inside this field section of my database okay so again to identify a field in your code a field in your database inside your code you have to use the fields field key which is what you have here and then the value that you're trying to compare or find okay so this concludes the uh, the entire code i'm just going to run over again to show you what you need to replace so the first thing you need to replace is your data set one okay as you can see when you click on it you can find how many times you have used that in your code and i, I have used that two times okay first of all in the already fun on ready function and then next on the set filter function okay so the data set one again is the data set that you're using to display your filtered item okay so you can just assume that that is your main data set okay so your main data set should be used on your ready function and in your filter section the next you, you're going to replace your repeater 2 so your repeater 2 is the repeater that performs the action that is where you click on okay that is where you 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 use that is your filter repeater okay so there's an image right there and that is the reason why I have used the single item because every element you ha you add in your repeater has the same ID. But in order to use the items one at a time, then you have to use the single item. Okay. And then next you have the item data. The item data is what you use to get the data of the item of the specific item from your data base. So this is an item, this is an item, this is an item. So these items are like arrays. They, they have other arrays in them and you can call them objects. Okay, so the you can have the title of this uh, item, the ID of the item, the category and other fields that you have added and so many more. Okay, so that is all you have to then finally again guys the image the image one the image one is the image in your repeater two okay that is the id as you can see just above it image one okay so that is all you need to replace then in a short while i will open up the developer console to show you that whenever i click on these items my console.log will insert a new array so as you can see there is nothing here there's no um, new item that or an error anything or whatsoever showing me that i have done or performed any action okay just this simple line of code a uh, line of uh, instruction or something all right so whenever i click on an, on an item here such as this cute baby shoes you can see that something was inserted and then what is that boom so this is an array one this is an array so an item has been inserted in the first position or the in first index of my array which is zero so every the first item in your array is always at the index zero okay so this here is the title of this item from my database so assuming i have something else like item data dot uh, price dot whatsoever then whatever that was whatever value it, that it had will be inserted here but i have used the title field and then the title has been placed right there okay so as you can see this item that has all the information that i the custom information that i have uh connected to my data 
is being displayed here so we have the baby shoes which is the title we have the price and then the, the category and also the button has a category okay so the same thing goes with other items such as this all right so these uh, as you can see the, the background image is just the same but the title you can see the title is what is being shown the full information is being shown on this part if you open up your developer console as well you can just click on that and you'll find that you have the t-shirt for men so this t-shirt for men is the title of this item okay which is also the same item right here the same thing goes for the other um item that i have so this is for dress and if you open up your developer consoles as well you see that your array now has dress in the index zero okay and so on okay so guys this is the end of the video i hope you really did enjoy this tutorial if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet i'll encourage you to subscribe because i will always bring up uh, amazing videos such as this for you to learn how to make the best use of velocode all right thank you very much for viewing this take care